Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything may not be okay. This is World of Horror. This is a game inspired by Junji Ito, the master of Japanese horror manga, and also HP Lovecraft. Um, I This game's been around for a while, but it was in early access, and it just got its full release on uh, PlayStation, and I wanted to play this as sort of a Halloween special. So I'm going to play it a little bit, and then I'll also be live streaming it this weekend for Halloween. Now this game is, it's a roguelike, um, I, th I think there's like randomized stories, there's like 20 different randomized scenarios, like different dooms that the world is facing, and you have to figure out uh, how to deal with them, and there's also, you know, random encounters, and so every run is different, um, and if you die, you start totally over again from the beginning, and you have a new scenario, and new random things will happen, so um, I'm really excited. I like games like that where, um, you know, everything's different every time you play, and it's also a really challenging game from what I've heard. So <clears throat> we're going to start a new story and play probably until I die to get an idea of what it's like in this video. Um, ooh, and then, like I said, I'll be live streaming it this weekend for Halloween. Would you like to customize the next playthrough's look? There are many color palettes and display modes to choose from. Oh, cool. So as you can see, I'll just do one bit. What's this randomize about? Oh, uh, can I go back to, oh, I don't want, <laughs> I just want normal. Okay. All right. If it's your first time playing World of Horror, it is recommended that you start with spine chilling store story of school scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. Okay, so we'll do this basic playthrough and then we'll try the other modes later when I live stream it. Something strange is happening in our town. You've found a new item, Taiyaki. Does it tell me what Taiyaki is? Um, looks like food. And it gives you plus one reason. And I've got a straight razor for a weapon. Cool. Uh, you've been following the weird... You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time, and you can't rest until our town is safe. Okay. Combat tutorial on. Okay, spine chilling story of school scissors. I think this was basically the demo, the school scissors thing. Um, and then later there was early access, and then this is the full release. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest of scissors. Investigate... Wait, is there more to read? You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he too disappeared, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that claims to stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Do I have... Do I have that notebook? Oh well, investigate the mystery. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. 
Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an Eldritch Sigil and then lighting of Holy Candles. Okay, so Eldritch Sigil and Holy Candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. So I have to find the sigil or information on how to draw the sigil and the candles. Okay. Access your storage. Okay. Friend's diary. Uh, oh, okay. I see it was stored. Um, Maru is acting strange. Need to talk to her after class. I hope she doesn't attempt the ritual herself. The sigil can be can weaken the demons for a while. Careful with the lines. So that's what the sigil looks like. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. It sounds like we just need to find the candles and maybe something to draw the sigil with. Cool. So as you can see, this is the the user interface for this game is like a really old computer, which I think is pretty cool. I like that. Um, how do I close the storage? Go back. All right, and what's this? I right, explore school. Yeah, we're not ready to perform the ritual. Check out school lockers. Let's do that, I guess. Uh oh. Oh no, did that damage me? Where's my health? I'm not sure wh which one is my health. I've got 17 stamina and 16 reason. So you've got stamina and. That's, this is like your sanity, basically. So I guess stamina is your health? Yeah, it must be. Cool. Okay, I'm not losing stamina, or I didn't lose stamina that time. Um, looks like a baseball bat. Can I... Oh, wooden bat. I automatically obtained it. Nice. That'll help. Oh, that one... You need a tiny key to open it. Okay, so if we find a tiny key, we'll come back to the lockers and try that. So let's explore the school now. So I guess I'm going to the gym. A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Ah, oh, man. If I decline, she'll probably get mad and attack me, but if I help her, she'll probably end up attacking me. I'm going to try declining. She suddenly grabs your hand. Oh, I insist. Dang, so I don't have a choice. I can't. I have to help her. Um, the creepy substitute teacher hands you a dusty old biologi biologi bio ah, biological specimens. The rancid smell of... Formalin almost takes makes you drop the jar. Should fetuses have so many legs? So basically, I just... Well, I wouldn't have lost reason if I would have just done what she said. So I'll have to remember it's better to go ahead and help her instead of refusing because then you end up losing some of both of your stats. Um, blessed chalk not found. Okay, so yeah, there's two things. I need the blessed chalk and the holy candles. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. So this is kind of like a point-and-click adventure, or just a slight step up from your basic uh, text adventure from back in the day. Um, I guess there's nothing in here. Okay, so I guess we'll just leave this room because we didn't find anything. Okay, now we're going to the schoolyard. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. Its heart is beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus one stamina. Okay, so I just lost some stamina. Um, you found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the, fl on the roof. You must hurry and find it. Okay, so I have to go to the roof. Um, I wish I wish it gave me like a map and I could choose what room I go to. Um, let's try this peek outside thing. Uh, you found it. Uh, to open the door, select and hold the cursor on the door handle. Uh oh. Up. Oh. Okay. 
You shouldn't risk that again. Okay. All right, let's explore the school some more. Hopefully we'll... Darn it, I want to go to the roof. Uh-oh, something is wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long-forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. Oh, good, we are on the roof now. Um, this is where the chalk is. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk here. Um, I'm going to try to sneak because we really need to find that chalk. Oh, no, dexterity, dexterity failure. You raise your hand in time to see Athyolzith's uh, single eye glaring down at you. You scream as your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge and your skin is etched with an ancient runes and curse. Well, I got XP and I got a curse. That's no good. Um, I don't know what XP is good for, but I mean, I guess you can level up. That's cool. All right, you found Blessed Chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil for your ritual. The copy of the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. What? That's not the right sigil, is it? Oh, well. Um, what are these? Yeah, I need to redraw sigil. That is not the right sigil at all. What? It says it should be correct now, but it's not. That's not what it looks like in the book. Oh, nope, that's not what I need. Um, wait, where's my items? Casting spells raises doom. So did I learn a spell? I did get some kind of writing on my face. Um, pretty sure that's not the right sigil. <laughs> oh, items, here we go. The sigil looks like that. That's not at all what is on the chalkboard. I don't know how to redraw it to look correct. Hmm, that's concerning. Huh, how do I get it to look right? Maybe if I... Other pages seem irrelevant to the case. I hope they're okay. Huh. Dang it, I don't get how to draw the sigil correctly. That's concerning. Oh well, we gotta go find the... Uh, candles now. Well, I've already been to the gym. As you enter the school gym... Oh, I guess I haven't been here. You notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Uh, I don't have anatomy class perk, so I, I can't do that. So I have to go closer to the doll. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse. All right, so I lost more reason. The sound of scissors is getting closer. You must hurry. Okay. Need to find the candles. Oh, just had got that again and lost more stamina. Okay. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Okay. Looks like I don't have a choice. I have to start. This is probably going to be the final battle. Wait, what's that? Uh-oh. Here we go. The sigil and holy candles don't seem to have an effect. Oh, man. Maybe I did get the sigil wrong. Have you drawn it wrong? Dang it. I couldn't figure out how to get the sigil to be correct. Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks. Am I beautiful? Dang it. Is there no way for me to redraw it now? Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? Ah, dang it. I hope it's possible to win this. Let's see, I've got... Let's try the wooden bat. Uh... 
guess that's not an available action. Oh, oh, I, it looks like I can equip it. All right. All right. What? Uh, it's still not giving me the the option to use the bat. What the heck? What? You don't have time to change equipment. Oh man, I uh, I, sh I guess I had to have equipped it earlier. I didn't know how to equip. What's this? Oh, this is food. So, if I guess if I get really low health, really low stamina, I'll eat that food. Um, okay, so I guess we're going to have to just fight with my fist because I didn't know I had to equip stuff before battle. Um, uh, how does this work? Fill the combat sequence with combat moves and press the launch sequence to attack your enemy. Okay, I just I just kick, 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 and then launch the sequence. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna eat the food. Oh, it just increases my reason a little bit. Oh well. Um. Oh, what's all this? Uh, needs an equipped weapon. Well, I can't equip the weapon. Ugh. With time, you will discover new combat moves available through the action filter. But first, you need a weapon. Oh, is this... Oh, okay. It's, it's telling me I need to look for an Im improvised weapon. Find and choose an action called look for an improvised weapon. Well, where is that? Maybe it's on here? Support actions, defensive actions... Oh, here we go. Look for an improvised weapon. There we go. Okay, now it'll let me do it. Okay. Look, a new item has appeared in the upper right corner. That's your inventory. Select it and find equip. Okay. So I have to do exactly what it tells me to do right now. This is a tutorial thing. So this is what I tried to do earlier, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> oh, well kind of annoying tutorial all right um now i guess i'm allowed to attack okay let's prepare and then attack this hp i guess is the enemy's hp so they've got 22 hp so she stabbed me ah, i'm down to seven stamina pretty sure i'm gonna die um oh I, yeah earlier there was an option to turn off the combat tutorial it makes sense that it was an option because i'll definitely turn that off next time i'm gonna equip the baseball bat that's what i wanted to do originally uh still don't have time to change equipment what the heck i don't get it does it just take too long to equip that specific item no, I just can't equip anything except the stick that I equipped earlier. Oh, meditate. Regain one reason and two stamina. Ooh. I should do that. It seems I can... heal myself, I guess. Let's heal myself some. And then we'll attack. Oh, nope, I'm dead. Am I beautiful? Okay, cause of death, killed by the scissors woman. Level one difficulty level, cultist. Equipped branch. Uh, if I would have known I had to equip the baseball bat beforehand, oh well. Incoming do doom 4%. Um, your playthrough lasted 19 minutes. In this run, you didn't complete any mysteries. You saw four new events, you encountered one new enemy, you unlocked one new achievement. Final log entries, okay. Cool. Alright, so next time I play this, when I live stream, I will 
beat the scissors woman I won't do the combat tutorial I, I already I already pretty much figured out how to do the combat the problem was that it was forcing me to do a specific thing and also I didn't know I had to equip stuff before the battle started but oh well anyway we'll do better next time a game like this is all about uh, learning <laughs> what to do and the more you know the better you'll do in each run but anyway, that does it for this first little video on World of Horror. I will, like I said, be live streaming this as my Halloween special. So I'll see you all then. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything's going to be okay.